One of our big goals here at Crime Watch Daily is to protect you. And today we have a frightening investigation. If you have Wi-Fi, did you know hackers can literally take over your entire home and just about everything inside? Anna Garcia is about to show you just how easily it can be done. We built our dream house here in Southern California and absolutely love it. We're just a few steps away from the beach. Vicki Johnson's new beachfront house is not only spectacular, it's smart. She can control most everything from her phone or tablet. It's pretty smart. The drapes go up and down automatically. We can close doors. We can flush toilets. We can turn lights on and off. We can turn the air conditioning on and off. TVs, music. It's a brilliant house. A secure fortress, she thinks. We were told it was hack proof. We'll see about that. Vicky, who's a Crime Watch Daily producer, has agreed to let us launch a cyber attack on her house. She's throwing a party for some unsuspecting guests. They think they're coming to take a tour of a smart house. But what we're really doing is hacking her house during the party and potentially the devices of every guest who walks through the front door. Helping me are two cybersecurity experts from Tripwire, a company that secures the computer systems for nearly half the Fortune 500 companies. We've hidden cameras inside the house, mounted more cameras in the SUV, where I'll be working with the hackers, Craig Young and Ken Weston. So first we need to break into the Wi-Fi. In the world of cyber criminals, a home's Wi-Fi is the new front door. This antenna is step one to picking the virtual lock. This antenna gives us a survey of what wireless networks are here. Vicky has 28 devices connected to the home's wireless internet. Once they were into the Wi-Fi system, our hackers were quickly able to commandeer the home's cameras. These are the security cameras to the house that you've hacked into. Exactly. Here we actually can see this is actually our car out here. This is the front door. Ken is able to take control of the security cameras because they have a separate password and it is ridiculously easy. If you don't um, secure them properly, then they become insecurity cameras. Once our hackers are in, every security barrier falls like a line of dominoes. This party's over. And the cyber attack is about to begin. First, we turn off the lights. Then, with control of the security cameras, we divert the video signal and play it on the TV in the living room. What? With everyone's attention on the TV, the hackers talk to the guests. We have taken control of this house, the lights, the security cameras. Now a special message from me in the car is piped in. I'm Anna Garcia from Crime Watch Daily, and this house has just been hacked. We hacked your home! <laughs> we spent a lot of money doing this and we probably should have bought a big dog. <laughs> she may want that big dog after she hears what else our cyber experts discovered while they were deep inside the guts of this smart house. Tell them where the security cameras are routed through. Yeah, so every time you're connecting to those security cameras, you're actually sending some message through China to get access to them, so. What? Through China. That, I mean, that's terrifying. Our cyber experts say a lot of people's information is sent through China. Why? Because it was, it was free or cheap um, for, for the people that are actually implementing the, the installation. Um, but that poses a lot of security risks, as you can imagine. The FBI accuses the Chinese government of carrying out cyber warfare and secretly supporting an army of hackers, which is why this next revelation is even more terrifying. The eight security cameras were still set to the manufacturer's default password. It's nothing that they set, yeah, right? right? It's not you guys. Yeah, it's a really hard one to remember. It's one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that was the password for the surveillance cameras. Uh, yeah, to access the surveillance cameras. That's how we were able to get in. I think everybody was in a state of shock. But that's not where this cyber crime spree ends. I'm hooked up to their Wi-Fi right now on my phone. So does that mean that they can get anything of mine off of my phone? 
Yes. Had we let our hackers go that far, they could have taken the financial information of the homeowners and the personal data from anyone connected to their Wi-Fi. You didn't hack into one thing, you hacked into everything. It was terrifying to look at my security system up there. That was scary. You don't need a fancy home on the beach with a lot of smart devices to understand just how vulnerable we all are. If you want to make your Wi-Fi at home or your cell phone safer, we found a simple tip to help stop that cyber crook. And it's as simple as changing your password. How long should it be? At least 20 or more characters that incorporates numbers, letters, upper and lower case, as well as special characters. Each symbol you add to a password makes it 10 times more secure. In other words, toss in an exclamation point and an asterisk, and you'll be a whole lot safer. Ken was able to take control of the security cameras because the password was ridiculously easy. The second line of defense is to make sure you always change the default passwords that come with smart devices. Whether you know it or not, most every device has one, and it's available online for anyone who wants to search for it. I think the best part of all of this is to know that guys from Tripwire said they were not gonna leave until they got our system fixed and that we will be a whole lot better off for having done this. We're not out to help criminals, we're out to stop them. And that's exactly why we're not revealing all of the details of how our hackers breached the system. But we are here to help you. Make sure each device you own has secure passwords because the best way to keep your smart house or device safe is to simply be as smart as the system itself. Well, Anna's with me now. Anna, first off, I need to be invited to Vicky's next house party. I agree, it's amazing, right? The house is incredible, but much more importantly, uh, what this does is make you think twice, uh, absolutely, about all this technology that I guess we just take for granted. We do, and Matt, it really comes down to passwords. Passwords, passwords, <laughs> passwords. Make them as complex as you possibly can, and you will limit your risk. Then, of course, you've got the trouble of having to remember them. <laughs> <laughs> Who can remember that, right? <laughs> Which is difficult as well. And on our website, actually, we have the 10 most commonly used passwords. And would you believe one, two, three, four, five actually is on the list. Come on, people. You have to step it up. You can see the full list at crimewatchdaily.com.